There's a strange and fascinating truth at the heart of modern science. Some of the greatest minds in history openly admit that we still don't truly understand quantum physics. One of the most memorable voices among them is Richard Feynman. He once responded to a newspaper claim that only 13 people in the world understood relativity. Feynman joked that this was almost certainly wrong. Maybe at best a single person understood it at one point, and once the ideas were written down clearly, others could follow. But then he said something even more astonishing. He claimed that no one understands quantum physics, not even him. And this is the same man who won a Nobel Prize for quantum physics. It feels almost like a paradox. How can a field that wins Nobel Prizes be described as something nobody understands? The answer depends on what we mean by understanding. Because the technology shaping our world today, the phones in our pockets, the computers we rely on, even the devices recording this moment are all built on quantum mechanics. Someone clearly understands it well enough to change reality. So the real question isn't whether quantum physics is understood, it's what kind of understanding we're searching for. And that's where science begins to blur into philosophy, where certainty fades, mystery expands, and the universe reminds us just how little we truly know.